What is Heru, the comedic name for Horus, doing thousands of miles in the language of the people of Japan? Shalom, family. Like this video, subscribe, follow me for more. For those of you who haven't already seen, I already made a pretty viral video on the Niger Congo languages and how they connect with the Japanese language. Japanese is a language isolate. It does not connect or root from the languages around it in Asia, meaning its origins is obscure. So to see so many similarities between the Niger Congo languages in West Africa and the Japanese language is very, very interesting. I actually found Heru in the Japanese language by watching Avatar. I heard Toph call one of the earthbenders Haru, and I said, it sounds a lot like Heru. So I searched up the origin of Haru and I found that it's of Japanese origin and it means spring or sunshine. Say hello to my subscribers. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Heru is the rising sun, right? Ra is the sun for the uh, ancient Egyptian people and Heru or Horus is the rising sun. Spring would be an especially important time for Heru because in, uh, in the spring solstice, the sun actually starts to overpower the darkness on the earth. So it's longer days. The sun is out for longer, right? It's the forecoming of growth and renewal, which is why Jesus is celebrated on Easter. Easter is a holy day for the Christian people. So for those two words to be so similar, the only difference is a change in the vowel, right? E and A, right? Or just really pronunciation, right? Tomato, tomato, right? Heru, haru. That tells us we got to pay attention more. Y'all also got to tell me what is Osiris doing amongst the Inca people. So the story of Osiris goes, for those of you who don't know, his brother, Set, was jealous of him and chopped him up into like 13 or 14 pieces. And his wife, Isis, with her sister, Nebet, retrieved all of the pieces of Osiris. And there's only one piece that could not be retrieved. That was his male part. So Isis had to do magic and use her thumb to create Osiris a golden male part. And that is how Heru was conceived. So amongst Bantu ethnic groups, you will often see these figurines where you can see uh, uh, this uh, male figure, his male part hanging out. This more or less is to symbolize Osiris, the god of fertility. This Huaka or Inca figurine was also found with a woman figurine who I believe represents or symbolizes Isis. Y'all decide for y'all self though and let me know in the comments below.